Hello and welcome to another video by the Gamesmiths. In this tutorial we will learn how to create a time bomb that detonates after a set amount of time. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into Unity and create one. So as a start, all I got here is a simple scene and I also have a simple script which is responsible for spawning a bomb wherever I click on the screen. Now all what's left is a script responsible for the detonation of the bomb and the destruction of all the adjacent rocks. So without wasting any more time, let's create the script. We'll start by creating a new c script and we'll call this script bomb detonation. Now open the script in Visual Studio. Once in Visual Studio, we'll start by declaring a public float, which will be our explosion range. After that, we will be declaring a public float to be our time to detonate. Another public float. This time it will be time to destroy float, which will call actual time to destroy. In the start function, we want to set our actual time to destroy to be equal to our time to detonate plus our time to destroy. Then in the update function, we want to check if our time to detonate is less than or equal to zero. In this case, we will need to detonate the bomb. So we'll call a function called detonate. Now it will give you an error, but this is because we don't have a function called detonate yet. So to create it, we'll go after the update function and create a void detonate, inside which we want to create a collider 2D, so collider 2D, and we'll make it an array so that it can explode more than one object at the same time and we'll call this collider object to destroy. After that, we'll set it to be equal to physics 2D dot overlap circle all inside which we will have our transform that position, which is the position of our explosion. And we'll have our range, so explosion range. Followed by what will be destroyed, so what to destroy. You will see that it will give you an error because so far we didn't declare this variable. So we'll go to the top and we'll create a public layer mask and we'll call this what to destroy. Again, one more time back to our detonate function, inside which we will have a for function taking an integer called i, and this i will start by zero. And for as long as this i is lower than the object to destroy dot lens. we will be increasing the i by a value of 1. And for each one of these objects, we will need to be destroying it. So we'll call objects to destroy, and this object of the value i, we will get component, and that component shall be our rock control. And from that rock control, we will need to activate the function, which is destroy. We 
Right now, you will see that it once again gave you an error because so far we didn't create a rock control script. Don't be worried, we'll be creating this in a minute. Now, after that, we'll get out of this function and we'll create another function which is on draw gizmos selected. So, on draw gizmos selected, but be sure you type it exactly how it's written or else it will not be activated. Inside which we will have gizmos dot color and we will need to set this to be color red after that we want to be able to visualize this gizmos in the scene so we'll type gizmos dot draw wire sphere at a position of our transform dot position with a radius of explosion range Now we'll head to our update function and we will continue after what we have written so far. So we'll type if time to detonate is greater than zero. In this case, we want our time to detonate to decrease by a value of time dot delta time. And then after that, we want to check if our actual time to destroy is less than or equal to zero. In this case, we will need to destroy our bomb, so destroy game object. If not, so if our actual time to destroy is greater than zero, we will need our actual time to destroy to decrease by a value of time dot delta time now save the script return back to unity and create a new c sharp script let's call it rock control open it in visual studio and we'll then be removing all of our update and start functions instead we'll create a void and we'll call this destroy Inside this function, we want to destroy our game object. Now be sure that you set this destroy function to be public so that we can call it from another script. Now save the script and we turn back to Unity. For the rock, we will go and drag and drop our rock control script to it and we'll add a polygon collider, set it to be is trigger. And for the bomb itself, we will add the bomb detonation script to it. Now set the explosion range to be for example 2. And we will set the time to detonate to 1 for example and the time to destroy shall be 0.1. Now when you start the game you will see that the only thing that happens is after the time of detonation and destroy is finished. The bomb will destroy itself, but the rock is still there. In order to fix this, we will head back to our rock, and at the top of the inspector, you'll see a layer option. Now, create a new layer, and we'll call this rock. Now, save this, back to our rock, and we will set the layer to be rock. One more time, we'll head to our bomb, and we will set the what to destroy variable to be rock. Now start the game and you'll see that everything is working perfectly at the moment. Thank you for watching. If you learned something new today, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is the Gamesmith, and as usual, see you in the next one.